I need to extend the existing 3 meter by 3 meter sunroof. This video will show how I do that. The purpose of the sunroof is to catch water, to keep the sun off the metal. I want it to be cyclone proof, easy to build. I have no plans to move but I'd like the roof to be able to be taken apart. I want a 50 centimeter air gap so that the air can flow underneath and I can crawl underneath it if I have to get access and I'd like it to be made of metal as against wood so that ants can't eat it and whilst we're living in the bush with the fire risk metal's a better option. One aspect of the roof is very important to me. It has to be very easy to extend in any direction as the project unfolds. This is the unroofed section. I need to put an anchor onto this cast corner. I welded some tubing to a flat plate and then cut a peg with a hole in and I use a nut and a bolt. Here's the corner piece assembled. I put quick fasteners at the top. These fasteners hold in the cross members. The end beam is in place and it's 10 centimeters higher at one side. I'd previously welded in 15 centimeter brackets that I put my fixings onto and I painted these green. Here are the two middle upright sections, one being 10 centimeters higher than the other. And this is it bolted in place. I've now got all the uprights and an end section. I snip a piece of tubing to the correct length. These will bolt together with T pieces to make the sides. So here's the frame in place. It links quite nicely into the first section I made. I've cut 3 meter rafters. These will be spaced 1.2 meters apart. I've placed holes in the ends for the retaining brackets. I secured the rafters using U bolts. It was actually very windy on the day I was assembling it. The rafters are bolted in place and it's starting to come together quite nicely. I collect useful looking metal anywhere I find it. I cleaned up this section of steel and I made it into brackets to hold the guttering on. Here's the brackets in place. And then it's just a simple matter of screwing on the fascia board. I screwed on the gutter brackets. It was quite simple to install the guttering and I put on three sets of battens. All I have to do now is bolt on the tin. I've installed a first flush water diverter. This takes the first nine or ten litres off the roof which is dirty and diverts it into a storage area. This allows the fresh to go into the water tanks. 50% of the tin I've used on this roof is recycled. In order to clean it up so I can reuse it I had to cut them square so I made a jig which allows me to do that. 
It took a while to make, but once I'd done it, it saved me a lot of time and effort. When it came to getting the second half of the tin, I found out just how expensive this stuff is, and I really like the recycling concept. The recycled roofing has got a unique pattern. It's very good quality, but it's very expensive. To cover the remaining area, I'm going to use a different pattern because it's more cost effective. Here's the roof with just a few meters left to be put up. And this is the finished product. I put up a metal safety rail so I can lean the ladder against the roof without buckling the tin and I put on a handrail. Now I'm looking forward to collecting a sensible quantity of water when it rains. If you're enjoying these videos you can see the entire project from start to where we are now at www.containerhouse.wordpress.com